today I'm going to be removing my old gels and redoing them with Builder in a Bottle. First, I'm going to be using my manicure bowl from Salon Services to do the removal. I'm filing off the top coat with an abrasive file so that the acetone can work into the gel. I pop my fingers in the bowl for about 15 to 20 minutes. Check to make sure they're ready and then use a scraper to start scraping off the polish. This was Builder Gel by the Gel Bottle Ink, so it was a bit difficult to get off compared to normal gel polish. I lightly scrape as much as I can, and if it doesn't come off with small pressure, then I have to pop them back in the bowl. My mum wanted to scrape the remaining polish off, so after soaking for long enough, I let her have a go. Once all the polish was off, I started to file my nails into the desired shape. I then pushed back all of my cuticles. Then carefully trimmed off any cuticle that needed removing. I then buffed over the nails just to ensure any old gel was off of the nail. I am using the Gel Bottle Ink Builder in a Bottle Juliet. I apply a thin first layer to all of my nails on one hand. Builder in a Bottle is very thick, so I opt for three thin layers. I then cure in the lamp. Now going in with the second layer on that same hand, I like to do one hand, finish it, and then do the other hand afterwards. I wouldn't do this on a regular client, however, it's the way I prefer to do it when doing my own. Once the second coat is cured, I go in with the third thin coat. I then cure and then go in with a file and tidy up the edges. I'm then going in with Jalish, top it off to top coat the nails. Unfortunately, the next clip was out of shot. I top coated and then cured in the lamp. I then wiped over with candy coat prep and wipe on a lint free pad. I then repeat all of those steps on the other hand. I have cut out some of the clips so you're not watching the same thing twice. I'm then going in with cuticle oil on both hands. All of the products I use will be in the description. And this is how they turned out. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching.